Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to add a sidebar um, without any code uh, using Squarespace Fluid Engine, uh, similar to what we have in our Roo Squarespace template. Um, you can always buy the template on our shop. You can go to shopdragonflyav.com. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make this sidebar and just a couple tips and tricks. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to be using the Roo template as an example. So we're just going to go to blog and right now you can see that all of these have it. So I will say this is kind of more of a layout thing. It's not necessarily... Um, like a f specific sidebar so i'll show you okay so we'll just create a new post let's say um okay so i'm gonna just build this layout out first we'll start with an image and then add blog content here and I have a little uh, lorem ipsum or some filler text here as well so I'm gonna start with a like with the text and then this is where you can add all your blog content so um, whatever you're writing any additional photos uh, now I'm gonna pick a spacer block and then I'm gonna select it so you see that it's getting dragged and once I drag it to the left or the right, sorry, uh, just I'm going to highlight it there or drop it in there. Sorry. And then here's where you can kind of pick, you know, based on your own preferences, how big of a sidebar you want. But you've essentially added this space here and you now have a sidebar. So if you wanted the whole thing, you can do that. Uh, and then this can be your featured image there and then more content and you can keep adding. Let's say you want another image. Let's say you want more uh, text below. You can, you know, keep adding, you know, and you're totally fine. Um, I liked having like that section there. Just kind of remember, so like once you do that, you're going to have to readjust and you're going to just click the item or the block and highlight it and like move it until it's under that section. And then I'm going to move the spacer back. I'm going to make it like that and leave it. And what I'm also going to do is grab another spacer and I'm going to add it there again. And then I'm going to make this middle spacer the smallest just so I'm giving space in between the blog content and the sidebar. So now from here I'll just let's say add a image. I'm like don't I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. Sorry. An image. And then let's say we want this image. And you can build out your um, your sidebar however you want. This is just kind of what I'm doing. And then you can say, you know, about like Rue or like Meet the Blogger. And then you can kind of adjust as you'd like. And then add some info here about you as the blogger etc so you can kind of adjust this as you'd like um now the only difference within like the blogging in fluid engine is it doesn't have like the spacing so you can't just move it um hopefully one day squarespace will do that but at this point in time we're still kind of using the old block system so we're just going to build it out and then you can add Again, like kind of whatever you want. You can add some 
you know, like blog category, a button, you can add another button going to You know, you can kind of build out oops, uh, what you want and add whatever content you want. If you want to add, you know, uh, like Google ads or something like that, you can embed the code there, but you pretty much have this set and this is going to act as your sidebar. And once you're done, I would remove that spacer just so it kind of lines up at the top of your content. Uh, that's kind of how I prefer it aesthetically, but it's kind of up to you and your preferences. Now, the one thing I will say is if you're going to do a sidebar this way without code, you do need to have it on the right side. And the main reason for it is because of mobile. So on mobile view, this is your feature. You can scroll all the way down and then you have your sidebar content. If you have it on the right side, the, or I'm sorry, if you have it on the left side, uh, your um, mobile content is going, like your sidebar content on mobile is going to be first. And we don't really want that. We want um, visitors to read the blog and then find the content on on mobile. So that's really the main tip here to drag and drop it. Um, you can again, keep kind of adjusting this based on what you want, how you want things laid out. Um, you can add whatever elements you'd like, um, kind of do your own thing, change the shape, you know, kind of, you know, make it your own. Um, if you want to add more under this content, you can, um, I had a related content and then I just did, uh, a no, I did not do a gallery. I did a summary block. And you can add the blog and add some like blog posts down here for related if you, you know, want. So that's kind of how I did it. Um, that's the best way I know how to add a sidebar without coding. Um, there are obviously like coding options available, but if you want to do something like pretty quick and easy, uh, you can change this. Um, the other thing I will say, so once you're done, hit save and then exit. And then here, when you're making a new blog post, just go to the one you have the sidebar in and hit duplicate. So then you aren't having to constantly rebuild the the sidebar because it's not going to appear automatically it's just going to appear um on the ones that you've added it to so i would just again go to the three dots hit duplicate on whichever one and if you can i would make a template so let's say this one So let's say this is how you want it. You like the blog post, you but you don't fully know um, like what content you're gonna have. Just do you know like whatever filler here. If this is what you want on all blog posts, you're good. And then when you come in, all you have to do is delete this and then add your new content there and then update the image. I uh, really hope this helps. Uh, again, Rue is available. A beautiful Roo template is available in our shop. Um, it's Squarespace Fluid Engine, perfect for bloggers, uh, vloggers, influencers, whatever. Um, and it already has a sidebar, um, but I hope this helps. Thanks so much. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, sign up for notifications. Thanks, bye.